Okay, we're going to be taking a look at this Dell Mini 9. Um, going to do an upgrade to it. Um, just sent away for some RAM. This is a 2 gigabyte RAM chip and it's in a static packaging so I'm not going to take it out of that packaging. It's the small computer. I'm going to access the RAM through a back panel here. Use a small screwdriver take out these two screws and then we should see the RAM underneath here we'll swap it out. Okay, it was fairly easy to get out these tiny little screws. Need to get into this lid here. And there we are. Looks like we've got the RAM Okay, so now we've got the RAM exposed here. Pull these prongs, one and then the other. The RAM will just pop up. And I can carefully and uniformly pull that out of the position. Let's see the next one comes along. It's got this slot. If I were to put it in backwards or attempt to put it in backwards, it just wouldn't fit. So it's fairly easy. I'm going to put it in at about the same angle. I'm going to make sure that it's in nice and secure. And I'm going to push it down. Make sure that it has a little bit of spring, which is an indication that each of these arms is connected in the right way. I'm going to go ahead and take this one that we replaced, a 1 gigabyte RAM chip, put it back in the static packaging, and I'll just sell that on the eBay. Um, otherwise, this one's good to go. I'm going to go ahead and plug the cover back on. and I'll put these two screws back in and then we'll see how it improves the RAM. Okay, so we've got the cover back in place and we're going to go ahead and push the button here. We're at the five second mark when I push the button and we'll see if my boot time has improved at all. Uh, last time I timed it, it was about a 45 seconds, somewhere between 30 and 45 seconds to boot and we're just now hitting the 20 second mark so we'll be hitting the 30 second mark just right there was the 30 second mark we've got a cursor, we've got our welcome we've got our welcome sound yeah, 45 seconds, it didn't improve the boot time too much but we should have now a little bit more capacity on this machine Well, if it's any indication, these menus are popping a bit easier. Here comes our system information, and we now have 1.99 gigabytes of RAM. So it looks like it did okay. We've got the amount of RAM we expected to find, and now it's just a matter of testing the computer out and seeing how fast it actually is now. So it's a Dell Mini 9 with two gigabytes of RAM. Uh, the RAM cost me about $25, uh, a couple of dollars for shipping on top of that, but I ordered some other stuff right away.